Welcome to video number 33 in SQL reporting service. Today we are going to format, you know, the row color based on certain condition. So let's see how can we do that. This is the end result. What is going to look like? This is uh, what 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 I have done is like you know, based on the unit price condition is like if my unit price is less than 20, then make those color as light blue or corn flower blue what is it and if the value is greater than 20 the unit spite is greater than 20 then make them as gray so let's start building this thing right click add new item report and I'm gonna call this report as what should I call row BG and let's hit ok and quickly create a data source and data set underscore row underscore BG all good choose the second option first get the connection the connection what we are getting is data source generic name this guy as gen generic hit ok now this connection is required for a data set because uh, uh, in order to query successfully from the database it requires a data source and data source holds the username and password of a database alright so let's go back to query designer let's take my favorite tables order details orders and product and employees add close all good take the employees out take the products up choose the product name choose unit quiet points I'm sorry unit price quantity where is order date I'm sorry order date unit price and quantity all good let's execute and 2155 records I'm very happy let's hit ok let's open the toolbox and get our favorite controls table on the table all right so make it a little wide go back to report data start dragging your controls product name onto the table control order date unit price and in the end let's quickly add a row onto the right and hit the quantity so everything looks great all right here next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply some tiny whiny color to this guy so header is shiny let's preview it all right everything looking great now let's go back to design and take this guy little bitty onto the right hand side all right <coughs> so now it is looking nice everything looks great okay now we want to format a row so what can we do is from here if you choose a row and you go to table x properties you don't get much options so in order to fix that what we need to do is we need to open a properties window I hope uh, you all can see the properties window I'm gonna take this guy a little up and as you can see my row has chosen I'm gonna choose a background color from here if you see I have there's a window called as expression I can choose an expression this expression is a dynamic expression which will give me an you know facility that I can code the things myself and if you are new to this if you don't know anything it's alright what you can do is you know like uh, keep on going and searching for the stuff like this is like I said our theme was you know to change the color of uh, the rows based on the unit price right as you can see there's an example so I'm gonna hit ok oh shit I'm sorry go back to expression and looking at the expression I would like to add a common function program flow if <coughs> okay I have added a if next thing I'm gonna choose fields then exclamation mark and I'm gonna say unit price dot value should be less than 20 if this is the case then get me this color uh, cornflower blue I'm sorry interesting how come I'm not getting any colors alright now I got colors so cornflower blue is my color now I'm reversing the situation and if it is greater than 20 then make it light gray alright looks good close the braces and what just happened I'm sorry syntax error okay everything looks good hit ok <coughs> and let's preview it the moment uh, we preview it everything looks now fantastic now everything is working as expected right alright the values which are greater than 20 are 
highlighted and you know 34 and blah 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 so this is all good right so I hope this video gives you an idea how you can you know format your rows uh, with special cases like you know sometimes your boss comes crazy hey I want to find out how many students have scored more than 100 so you know you can apply the same you can highlight all the students and you can do your manipulation alright and the thing which I have done is again in this uh, was uh, one second let me get back to that expression this is again a st static so you the, there's a homework for you you need to provide a parameter in here so you can make it as dynamic so anytime your boss comes in it tells you I want to see the list of student who's got like you know more than 90 less than 20 who are the failures blah 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 alright so I, I mean I hope you got an idea so if this video helps you in some way in any way then please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video good night and take care